So I've been doing research on how to uh, be more effective in the YouTube environment, in the garden, the sandbox that they've allowed us to play in. And uh, I've been going through, you know, those videos where they're telling me, oh, see, I did these channels and it's amazing. I'll give you some advice, right? So you're watching and they spread it out because one of the tricks, I don't know if you've noticed, you know, other than them saying subscribe and like, is they tell you sometimes you have to go to the end of the movie, right? You can't, they don't want you. And it's because it's a thing, uh, it's called an algorithm, right? This algorithm we're working, this YouTube algorithm. And they're trying to tell you how you do it. And they tell you things people do wrong. And I've been going through them, like going, well, is it possible that I could do these things that they say are wrong, but somehow make them work? So that's been the fun. So the general consensus now to work this algorithm is to put out products. You just need to put out movies and not care. That's what they're saying. Well, first they said, just start it. Remember my first one? That's what I said. I said, and that's very good advice. I don't think you have to pay for that. But then to explain, well, you should just put out lots of garbage and, and not worry. We all did. And they show you they did. And they don't seem to get, but what people find, like myself, find cool about YouTube is that you can find, it's, you don't even want a niche. You just want a small group of people who enjoy what you're doing and you can ask them, what would you like me to do to make it better? You can't do that with a thousand people. And that's the goal. That's what they're teaching you is how to get these thousand subscribers. But you can buy that. And they're saying, well, that's not good. Yeah, but it's already been done. So if you the logic that you have these many subscribers so now the algorithm's okay with it, it it's still stupid in the way of creativity and, and doing something that could be cool is not to fill the space with a lot of garbage and leave room for these people who have creative things that could make us all go, whoa, I'm gonna try that out like that. And not sell. See, if you go for a thousand, it's just so that you can monetize something now. Why? What do you wanna monetize? That's not why I'm on YouTube. That's why I get off of the television. I love TV. I was brought up on TV. I'm never going to give it up. But I understand the commercials, and the ones I don't, I'm not interested in. You know, I fast forward. But they still try at a time, right? They try at certain times to do, like in Europe, they, people hang out just to, like in the movies. I don't know if it's still like that. But back in my days, right? I'm talking 80s and 90s. They, um, the movies would always have all the commercials. They would have commercials, the movies. And it would be set up at a time before the movie starts. And my friends would go to the ones just to watch. The, because sometimes the commercials were hilarious. Just so, or just really clever. Because they tried. That got me drinking water. Yeah, they had Evian water. It's the first time bottled water. I saw that. Well, what's, you know, but the commercials were so cool. I was like, I'll do it. That looks like fun. Do, do we do that? Nah. We just tell people they have to. And then we tell them the bottles are messed up. Then we tell them, well, you, you're happy there were those bottles, right? Because we'd be really sick right now. And we are. The more everyone stays at home, the more the levels are going up. It's very interesting, isn't it? And we're going to go in and just see. 
what Santa Barbara is so scared of. 